Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So here is the final of the four uh, sewing pattern junk journals that I've created. So without further ado, oops, sorry, hold on one second. I don't know what this, sorry, my computer is making some weird noises. I just restarted it. So if it makes another noise, I do apologize. Um, so I just tied this with just a, some like regular seam binding. There's a little bit of coffee staining on it. Um, but I was trying to bring out the pink in her outfit and her outfit really isn't like pink. It's more maybe of a salmon, but you know, I like this anyway. So <laughs> I use that. Um, <clears throat> this is also the only one of the journals where, let me just see if I can open. Where's the middle? Oh, well. Um, I use the actual uh, pattern, the, I don't know what it's called, the, um, you know, like the package that the patterns come in, um, but I did have to do a little cutting and pasting and stuff so it would fit together, but I liked the whole thing. Um, I was trying to get this as a spine. Unfortunately, it didn't really line up as a spine, but that's okay. Um, and I also got it so that you could see the copyright date on it, and it's copyright 1970. And then this was the back of the um, package. So that is it. And so let's get right inside. <clears throat> am I in frame? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. So on this one also, again, I left the inside blank. So that way it just shows what this cover is made out of, which I absolutely love. Um, now the first page... I made one of these, it's kind of like a triple pocket. So there's a pocket up here and I just stuck in, this is like a, it's kind of, it's thick, like a index card, but you can use it as, you know, whatever you want. So that goes in there. And then the second pocket just had a vintage Rolodex card in it and a playing card. And the third pocket, I did one of those vintage pictures that um, I got from my parents' house. And look at the back is even yellowed. It's so awesome. And it's just the beach. I mean, there's people way there, but you can't really see who those people are. And then I did a little... Uh, um, so this is like an index card, so you can journal on the back. I sewed on uh, this playing card on the front. And then I just... There was this little piece of... Uh, I must have ripped something down and there's a leftover piece, so I just put it up there. And so that goes in there. And just a little layering down there. On the back, we have a little flip down, so you can journal uh, up in there. Did a little bit of different collaging. Here's a vintage button, uh, music paper, different like off cuts and stuff like that. And here is things to do, blank on the back, and then this is a little, it was made with a um, index card, so you can journal on the inside, you can also journal on the back because it's lined, and the front it has a vintage um, playing card and some vintage music in the back, and it tucks right up in there. And here, this is um, really cute. I ended up actually going to uh, Walmart recently to get more of these tags because somebody had sent me some. Then they were just blank tags. And uh, so what I did was I, you know, kind of grunged them all up and just added some layering on the front. And then I use it just to make like a little charm type thing. Um, so now that I have... Uh, a whole box of them I'm going to make up a bunch of just random ones that way I can just kind of take from my stash and I like the way it looks so there's that and then it's just sewn on to some extra journaling paper let me just put that back down so I can am I in frame I keep trying to think okay there we go um so let's turn the page here we have a um, a recipe, came out of a recipe book, um, and I like it because it's a little bit thicker, so that's, I like like the different paper textures and stuff like that. Here um, is a little flip up, and it was made with an index card, so it's, it's really, um, it's thick, it's nice and thick. Uh, so you can journal under there, and then I just have some 
different pieces of ephemera there. And on the back, here's a glassine bag. And I, um, I put on a vintage, uh, I think it came out of the dictionary probably, did a little vellum sticker over there, some trim on the bottom, and then it holds one of these playing cards. And um, these really aren't vintage. It's 2004. They're precious memory cards, but it's cute, you know. And then this was one of the um, the these little sleeves that holds negatives when you go get your pictures developed. So inside, I just put a little. It's kind of like a almost like a bookmark, blank on the back, so you can do some writing. You can tuck it back in here, or you can you know use it however you want. I love these. These are so neat. I don't have a lot of them. They only had a few. However, we're not done going through all their boxes of pictures, so I might get some more. And then here we have, um, this one is interesting. Oh gosh, now I can't remember who I saw this. Oh man, I should have written it down. Uh, I watched somebody do the tutorial on it uh, of how to fold it all up, but it's basically one piece of paper um, that's folded all up and you know I sewed it around so now it just makes tuck spots so you have a pocket down here you have a pocket kind of actually let me just take everything out so maybe you can see a little bit better um, so there's a pocket behind here technically you could do a pocket here and you could do a pocket here and then there's the pocket here and then I just added a charm here and I added some vellum stickers so I thought that was pretty neat and I hope I saved it actually to my liked videos because um, it's an interesting way of doing, you know, a different type of pocket. So I put that in there. Oh, maybe did I, I did use all the different pockets the way they were supposed to use. Okay. And then this is just another one of those note papers for some extra journaling. And that goes down in there. And here is another one of the index cards that you can flip up and you can write in. And just tuck some, these I believe are vintage. The recipe cards that I used in here. And I believe this is um, some ephemera from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. So it's blank on the back. I did ink around because I didn't sew it onto anything. And this was a little torn, uh, coffee dyed glassine bag um, but it was like attached in the top when I tried to do these coffee dyed bags myself I don't know what I did wrong but they got like cooked shut so a lot of them I couldn't use so I've been using them as other things in the journals but this one I basically the top was all kind of glued shut with the coffee so I ripped the top off but the bottom half I realized it was open so I said why not make a pocket out of it so we just have some different bits of ephemera. Here's just a little uh, a little trifold for extra journaling. Did some layering on the front of that. Um, oops. And then a little playing card there. Here's another one of those altered, I think they're like price tags or jewelry tags. I don't know. There. And then there's bunch of places to do some extra journaling along with journaling on the bottom of the page vintage book page here is another one of those three pockets oh and I saved the flap off of the um, packaging um, and I just kind of tried to flatten it as much as I could um, and then I just glued it onto a tag which you can use to write on the back. You could also use this as a bookmark too. And then here's in the second pocket. And then in the first pocket, a little, it's like a trifold with some extra paper. So this one's glued down, but these side flaps you can journal on. So it's like a little booklet. Another little flip down there. Um, this is a vintage button that I have and then in here we have one of these from um, Western Publishing Company 1977 so this is 
about plants. Vintage Rolodex card, and then another one of those. It's kind of like a recipe card, but like it's thick, like cardstock thick. And a little side tuck here. We have a little charm of a butterfly hanging off there. Here's another one of those cards, and the, oh, there's a glare. This one is a sky plant that gets tucked on the side. And then we have um, vintage playing card sewn onto a vintage Rolodex card. And on the back, again, another flip. And in the top, we have this little card there that you can write in and a vintage playing card. Middle of the signature. Um, oh, I didn't put anything there, but you can put whatever you want in here. Added some lacy trim there. I'm kind of, I'm starting to like the um, envelope in the middle. I used to never do them before, but um, I know that I was watching my friend Danny. She was doing kind of like a, a tutorial, step-by-step um, -step process on how to make a junk journal. And she always puts envelopes in the middle of hers. And I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to try. And now that I tried, I really like it. <laughs> so it's a good thing I watched her tutorial. Um, here's another altered glassine bag. And we have a little note paper and another one of the um, Precious Moments little cards. And there's some vintage book page in the back. Um, another Precious Moments card. And, oh, goes this way. Playing card and a little journaling card. And I got these um, images from my friend Moira McDonald flips up there. Here is a big, big flip up. So you can do a lot of journaling here. And then I just layered, I layered a vintage Rolodex card, a piece of music paper, and then there's also a vellum flower. And then I added a little bit of lace on the bottom. And tucked in the top here is another one of those uh, negative holders with a Another bookmark type thing and another piece of note paper. And then, oops, on the back of that, here's another one of the altered um, price tag thing. They're those little tags. Little spot to journal and another. Sorry about the glare. Another um, house plant thing and a little journaling card there. And moving on, another of these taggy thingies <laughs> and a little sewn on notepad up there. And here behind, we have some cards there to write on. And then um, a little journaling card in there. I just did some, I added some little trim down there and this is one of the vellum stickers that I have. And then it goes right, oops, oops, goes right in the pocket there. So that goes inside and then this gets tucked behind. And this is like one of those little bags and I just did some layering on top. Some more writing pages. And here is another big side tuck. This one goes from the top to the bottom of the page. I ran some lace there. Um, I added a vellum sticker and another one of the house plant cards and a guest check. So those get tucked right into there. And then on the back of that, I have another of the uh, uh, coffee dyed glassine bags that I did some altering on have uh, a little piece of, I don't know if this was from a doily, I can't remember what part this was from, but I added a little vintage button in the middle. And then we have a uh, coffee dyed guest check and another um, uh, random vintage picture. <laughs> So that gets all tucked up in there. And am I in frame? I am in frame, good. Uh, this is just like the other one, has the layering, the flip up, and then in the back, oh, this is a 
angel postcard. Not vintage, but very cute. Another little flip down there. And this here is vintage. And it's from June 24th, 1909. That's old. That's antique, actually. So that gets tucked in there. And there's another little journaling card. Here, um, I have another little tiny booklet of just little blank pages. And it gets housed right in there, which is so super cute. I love that little pocket. Um, and what was this? This is, oh, a little pad of note paper that I sewed in. Sorry, was I out of focus for a minute? I just happened to look to make sure I was in frame. And uh, those two cards. Um, here is another little altered tag with some random pages to write on. And another altered glassine bag trim on the bottom. Here is some nice, this is really pretty stationary paper. And another vintage uh, postcard. And this one, let's see, April 1st. Oh gosh, I don't know. That I'm not sure of. It definitely is vintage, or actually even probably antique. It has a one cent stamp on it. I wish I could see what the actual date was, but I can't. But it's still very cool. And then it goes right behind there. Oh, and then that's the back. And then the back is also blank too. So I just love the way, like just the different textures that these um, journals have is just really, really different. And I really like it a lot. So those are my journals that I've been working on. I'm actually, I've started another small one. Um, hold on, I'll give you a little sneak peek here. So I've done the cover. Um, and I've gotten the pages and that's as far as I've gone so far. But the problem is I have a lot of little projects that I kind of want to work on at the same time now too. So I'm not sure. And tomorrow's a holiday, so I'll be home from work. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm either going to start some little projects. I'm going to finish that or not finish, but work on that journal. Um, there's just so much I want to do. So stay tuned. And if I do any of the little projects, I'll probably turn on the camera and just kind of show you what I'm up to. So um, if you are of interested in this journal it will be available in my Etsy I will leave the link to the journal in my shop in the description box below and as always thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video bye